Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And yes, I'm sick again. I can't stand it. Anyways, I've been away for quite a while. I'm going to try to get a couple of things done today before I have to lay back down. It's been a rough couple of days. Um, it's been so long, I forgot what I was working on. Um, <laughs> Life vignettes, sorry, I'm working on life vignettes. So um, I did page one, so that's done. So one of the things I did is I went back and I put some texture on the photo mat, and I think it went a long way to really making this page come alive. So that's page one. What I have in front of me are page two. I'm gonna use two um, pages from the eight by eight book. And I just took two that look nice together side by side. Um, I'm going to choose the side without the person because I'm going to add my embellished bits on the other side. And the more simple it is, the easier it is to layer. So I'm hoping that this is trimmed to fit. <clears throat> and I realized I got down here without my glasses. At the very least, I want to get these two pieces uh, glued down. And then I'm going to add some photo mats and um, some embellishments, some die cuts, and I opened all my packages and inked them and mixed them up so I can't really tell you where they're from and some of them are fussy cut from the collection but I can tell you that I'm using I think I'm going to use just about all of it bits and bobs the uh, ephemera die cuts and there's one other thing I can't remember what it's called um but it's the um the cards, uh, and I'll show you one in just a second. I can't remember what they called the cards. Yeah, I don't know how far I'm going to get without my glasses. Um, the last pack has these, um, which look like journaling cards to me, but I'm not sure that's what um, Blue Fern calls them. Okay, so there's page two, and then here's page three. This is really nice. Now, I'm using two of the 8 by 8 so I am going to use the second 8 by 8 probably cut some of these apart and layer them onto the pages. So these feel much more like um, a layout collage page. Um, so there's no interaction on these pages. The only interactive element in this album is going to be the large pocket page pocket. Everything else is going to be static on the page. Oh, and it looks like, shoot, it looks like I hadn't trimmed that piece down. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And while it dries, we can start laying this out. So I really thought this was pretty. And I think I'm going to use the purple side. And I'll tell you what size these photo mats are. Um, this one is 4 by 6 And this one is 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter. This is, um, let me pull it in. Ouch. You know, quick. Uh, I really like it. It's an embossing folder uh, by Sizzix, um, and it's a Tim Holtz uh, 3D embossing folder. And you get this beautiful Baroque pattern. Um, so I'm going to layer that on top of the black cardstock. And it's very textured, so you got to make sure you, you're hitting some of these flat spots. And you could use anything, right? Um, anything that is an organic shape. So I would stay away from geometric shapes, squares, triangles, rectangles, circles, ovals are good. Um, anything that's, like I said, sort of organic in nature would work well here. And I want these to be slightly offset, so I'm doing that on purpose. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add that to behind it. There we go. <clears throat> and then I've got... Um, this is, I can tell it's a die cut because it's white on the back side. 
And um, I've inked all the edges and I'm gonna place this at the bottom between these two, like so. And then I've got this um, ribbon that I just happen to have in my stash, which I like the way it looks with this. So I'm thinking about adding just a little ribbon accent here, layering my photos slightly, adding this. Now I'll adhere these photos, but not to each other, so you can stash your photo in there. And then I may also add like a little um, twine bow down here, is what I'm thinking. So the first thing I wanna do is figure out where I want the purple to show, if I want it on the inside or the outside. And I think I want it on the outside, but we're gonna take a look at it both ways. Yeah, I think I like this, this little bit of ribbon right here. And I'm gonna use tape to hold it down. It doesn't have to be exactly the right length, but it can, um, I just don't want it to go past the edge of the frame. Like it's doing down here, but I don't care because that's on the bottom. So I do want more of that to show though. There we go. And it's just a little extra something. There we go. And then we're going to place this here. I think. And again, we're opening that, we're leaving this open. these old um, film roll looking things. I think they're neat. Okay, I'm going to just start by laying, tacking down one side. But I have to decide which way I want it to go. I think that's too, too much, so we're gonna go off Amber a little, like so. so I'm going to start right there. Okay. 
Let's give it a second to dry. So weird thing about being sick is um, I finally went and had that surgery on my ear. So I've been on antibiotics since before the surgery, you know, to abate any infection. And so I get sick while I'm on antibiotics. I'm like, good grief, what's going on? But this is the third thing in a row. So I think I'm done for a while. <laughs> if things come in three, I'm done for a while. This is a little longer than I want it, so I'm going to trim it um, a little bit. Although, at the moment, I don't see my scissors. That was just a happy little accident. I didn't even think I was going to use the strip that I cut off. But I think it looks wonderful. Now, um, once this dries, I'm going to set some glue in the middle and try to puff up the two other ends. And I do think I want a little bit of this, so maybe a small bow somewhere. Let's see how it looks. I like it. It's very rustic looking, but it's hard to work with because it has so much texture. <clears throat> well, I know for sure I need my glasses when I come back. I can't see a thing. When I set the camera up, I kept trying to get it to focus, and it's like, oh, it's me. <laughs> The camera's fine, it's me, I can't see. Just a little bit of texture, that's all we need. A little bit of height. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm mumbling. <clears throat> it sounds very loud in my head. Okay, so. Isn't that beautiful? Now I think I'm going to tack this down somewhere. And I even like that it's curly like that. And this is just, I'm pretty sure, something I got at the 99 cent store. Um, it's just plain old twine in the garden section. I was actually using it on uh, some centerpieces that I was making last year. I think I kind of like it up here. It softens these two things coming together. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is very different um, for us here on the channel. 
that's a little too long. So cut that off. That's a little too long. Cut that off. Okay, there we go. That's page page two. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, four by six photo mat. Um, double layered. I've got a card behind it. This is a die cut, I believe. Um, another die cut. And then another photo mat. And I think I told you three and a quarter by three and a quarter. But I'll, I'll check again. Yes. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so you have two, two photo mats. I think it turned out lovely. So you can have a photo up here. Photo down here. I, I put too much glue on here, but you could also cover it, whichever you like. I think it turned out nice. You could even do a little bit of journaling there if you wanted. I'll put a date on here. Okay, I'll be back soon. Next time I come back, um, I'll, I'll bring my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry for the slow turnaround on things, guys. I'm just not feeling great. So hopefully I'll be back on my feet totally in the next couple of days and get back to getting some stuff done for you. Um, as always, uh, Daphne from Scrap and Create, thanks for taking time out of your day to come over and spend time with us here on Scrap and Create. We really appreciate it. The one thing you can do for us that goes a long way and doesn't cost a thing is to like, share, and subscribe. Um, by like, sharing, and subscribing, it really feeds the YouTube algorithm and presents us to other like-minded crafters so that they can get a glimpse of what we're doing over here. And uh, at the end of the day, we're trying to sell paper, so the more eyeballs we get, the better. But if you're not in the position to buy paper from us, we completely understand that. But everybody can take a minute to like, share, and subscribe. As always, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon with page three.